the real ones out there grinded out countless Grandmaster GMs to get the perfect Wendigo Geo free roll, just for it to be pretty much never used and immediately power crept in the next few weeks by the craftable Regnant. The Regnant was also hardly ever used. Well, good news, Copium Gel enjoyers. Even better one is available now, and with a much, much worse grind. Possibly the worst grind. What the hell has Trials of Bosiris become? And this shiny, even shinier if you get an adept, new grenade launcher, is a Cataphract GL3. This one comes around with a spike grenade lottery as its standard. If you happen not to get spikes, then you're immediately out about 10% damage. And it comes with the standard column 3 strong perks of either Envy's Assassin or Auto Loading Holster. The column 4 option is the one which pushes this specific geo into the spotlight with bait and switch. Previously, the best geos utilised explosive light for a 60% damage increase, but this was capped at only the first 6 or 7 shots if enhanced. Bait and switch gives a flat 35% when active, which is obviously less of an increase, but you can dump the whole reserves while it's active. With Envy's Assassin, this is the easiest way to get through the whole reserves. Within the 10 second window, you can go from full to empty, which works out to be more overall damage than if you should dump the whole reserves with only the first 7 shots getting an additional 60% from Explosive Fire. This lends itself naturally into high burst damage scenarios, most specifically just above 10 seconds ideally. Otherwise, you will have to utilise your other equipped weapons or abilities during a damage window. But to be honest, the burst is quite impressive. Firing the whole reserves into Greg with no damage boost except that provided by Well of Radiance gives just over a million at 1,019,256 for a raw DPS number during the bait and switch window of around 100k. But here's the issue. In group settings, running rockets, ideally those which also have bait and switch, in either Cold Comfort and Apex Predator, alongside a galley user in utilising special weapons and abilities in between shots depending on downtime, is high DPS more damage and more reliable. A well rolled cold comfort, which is also a pain to get, but you know, not quite as painful as trials, can fit the role of burst too. Being able to fire the first five rockets without reload, and yes, this is five, not four, because Emma's Assassin can now load up to four rockets with some sneaky rounding method. But after that, you can use one of many reloading tricks dance machines, thread of ascent, rain of fire, or you could even just manual reload of lunar factions to get the remaining rockets out quickly. For a reference of somebody who actually knows what we're talking about, not just going by feel like I do, take a look at the Aegis Relic spreadsheet. The YouTuber who has thoroughly tested just about every DPS setup out there, ranking them in order of most effective. The Cataphract with the highest DPS options in both of the slots caps out at about 190k DPS. While there's plenty of rocket options above it, reaching up to 275k. Obviously, these require a Galahorn user and something that is an Argy plus rocket may require a bit of finesse to pull off, but it's still more of an achievable with practice. But still, outside of optimal DPS applications, in say a more casual setting, kinda close. And it means there is a place for a Cataphract GL3, especially in solo content. Running a solo dungeon, the burst damage can be fantastic for a boss DPS phase. And if Galahorn isn't being used by a team, or gets nerfed in the future, then a Cataphract GL3 will be a much more viable option. But overall, would I recommend farming for this? If you aren't really a Trials enjoyer, honestly it's fine to give it a miss. Unless you happen to love heavy gels more than you hate Trials I suppose. It's a decent option for burst damage, but other options can come close or surpass it. Regnant with Explosive Light will be a better burst for the first 7 shots too, if you just want to like delete a champion or something. With a Cataphract you really have to hit Spike, Envious and Bait and Switch, which is not easily obtained. I spent way too long in trials and was only able to obtain, at best, a roll without spikes. Not bitter. But here's the thing, if heavy gels do become better in the future, it's likely we might have another Wendigo situation, where a better, or at least easier to obtain gel is released alongside the meta ship. Then all those hours you spent moulding at wish ender users will all be for nothing. If you do get lucky and get a god roll, you should use it. Brag about it too, because you know damn well nobody else will have it. But at the end of the day, it probably is just the latest and greatest Copium GL. There will probably be another one next season, and then another one after that. Who knows, maybe one day one actually might be better. But not today.